Karshroni Stadium, uh, site of the South Central District Championship in Junior College Baseball Division One. Ken Trahan with Joe Sherman, the architect of the Delgado Dolphins. First of all, congratulations on winning another Region 23 title. Uh, it's, it's great to be here, Kenny. We, we fought through a very uh, tough regional. You know, I mean, the, Nunez gave us everything we needed and then some, and then, uh, you know, we were able to, to fight back and get it done, which says a lot about our kids. Really does, of course. Consistent winning and winning breeds winning, and I think that had a lot to do with it. You're down seven nothing, but these kids understand winning. They know how to win. They expect to win. Oh, I think that's a big part of it. You know, when you uh, when you've been there and done that, that helps. You know, and I think the fact that we have been and Nunez hasn't, it was was a telling factor. Every five to seven years, it comes around where you get to host. Every fifth year, basically, and here you are hosting again. But you're the underdog. You got two programs in here with 50 wins each. Talk about that. Yeah, we got a we got a big sandwich to bite off of here, and we, uh, you know, we we respect both these programs. We played both of them last year in in Oklahoma. Know a lot about them, and you know they're both very talented. Obviously, they're two number ones on each side. Both commit and sign with LSU. So uh, we, you know, we know we're facing quality arms with with above average velocity. So we'll, uh, we, you know, we're going to show up and see what happens. What do you take out of last year? One game you get run ruled, the other game you go extra innings and in losing to these teams. Yeah, so it's 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 really a tough read. Last year we played in a high school facility, which was a beautiful facility, not taking anything away from it, but very small uh, dimensions and a hurricane blowing out of left field. So uh, it was a different different type of, of uh, baseball game that we're used to playing. Obviously, I think being in our own ball park and. I watch these teams now practicing double relays. The parks we played in in Oklahoma and Missouri the last couple of years, you don't need double relays. Well, you got dimensions, obviously, that, that are deeper, but you also have wind conditions as such, and you have heat, which I got to believe probably plays into your favor. Yeah, so the, I was talking to the crowd of coach this morning. He said we went and bought some, some sunscreen. Uh, these white legs and white necks are going to be red by the end of the weekend. But uh, yeah, the humidity is definitely going to be a factor. And the fact that we played a four and seven, it's got to be a plus for us. The way your team is playing right now, Pitching had carried you much of the year, but lately it's been your hitting that's carried you. Yeah, we like you said, we, we, we got here because of pitching early in the year, and now we're here because of our hitting, you know, outscoring our opponents in the a, in a Region 23 tournament. But, you know, the, the thing that amazes me the most about our club is it's kind of like next man up. You know, we, we've had a couple injuries, key injuries in some key spots, and everybody we plug into that spot, guy steps up and gets it done. You like being in that underdog role, don't you? I do. I, I, I like being the hunter instead of the honey so uh it's uh it's it's gonna be fun last but not least when you think about the possibilities you've taken teams to four college world series your dad took them to one so what would that mean talk about that experience of being able to accomplish it. well i think it's a it's a lifetime opportunity for these kids you know and like, the only disappointing thing is no one in our program has been there because if you're there and you know what it feels like and you know what's what it's about, you don't need to motivate anybody. But once, uh, you know, that's why you see programs like we went, you know, three years in a row because our kids understood what the ultimate goal was. Once you get there, you get a hunger. That's Crowder's, what Crowder's got going for them. Went there last year, had some success there. They know what it's up like up there. It's going to be a tough team to beat. Thank you, Joe. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Kenny.